November 9th, 2038. 11.17 a.m. Welcome back to some Detroit Become Human, everybody. We're back here with uh, Hank and Connor. No idea where we are right now. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? You should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. All right. Meet Kamsky, wait for the android. All right. Elijah Kamsey, Cyberlife founder, resigned 2028, inventor of theorem and biocomponents technology. Interesting. All right. Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Amanda. Oh my god. Amanda Stern, AI professional profession professor at University of Colbridge. And obviously Elijah Kamsky, okay. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Is there anything else we can look around? Or anything else to look around at? Doesn't look like it. Space tourism on the rise. Interesting. Okay. Cyberlife's fortune teller computer. Cyberlife develops world, world's most powerful quantum calculator. Hackers target solar panels for latest ransom scam. Damn. All right. Glad you will see you now. Get information from Kamsky. All right. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. All 
Ah, uh, there he is. I don't know why the water is red, but okay. <laughs> I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Something in the Deviant's program seems to emulate emotion. We thought you might know something about how that occurs. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. Uh oh. What do you really want? I'm sorry, but I don't see what you're getting at. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? Piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question. Oh no, don't make me shoot her. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. I'm not gonna shoot it. An obedient Give me an option and I'll spare it. I'm not gonna kill it. I'm not gonna kill it. I'm not going to. I'm just gonna say that now. That's it's not enough. gonna happen. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Yeah, Hank Connor, want, Hank wants us to leave too. And I'll tell you what you want. He doesn't want us to do it, so we're not gonna do it. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... 
I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. I wasn't gonna shoot it, man. Hank didn't want us to. He wanted us to leave. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. That guy's kind of weird, man. Man, I don't, man, I don't know way, how I feel about him. I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. He's weird. I don't like him. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Well, at least our relationship with Hank went up a little bit. That's good. Increased in a good way. I'm just trying to stay on his good side because, like, he did recently try to. I had to shoot us in the head. Just trying. To, I'm just trying to do anything to, you know, stay on his good side. Right. Hank thought Connor made the right decision. That's good. Wow. Look what would have happened if you would have shot her. All these different options. Oh my. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was Meet Kamsky. 60% completed. Let's continue. November 9th, 2038. 12.04 p.m. I was wondering where you were. I just needed to be alone. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. I've been thinking about what we should do now. And with everything pulling us towards confrontation, maybe, maybe it's not too late for the humans to listen. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. We'll be honest. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. 
North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Wow. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. That's rough. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. Oh no. There, now you know everything. <sighs> Damn. I She's a when lover now. In his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt I like had I a feeling she was you. from the Eden Club. North. Damn. No way, let's go! Simon's back, boys. That's awesome. I knew he was gonna come back eventually. Ah, oh, let's go, yes! We made the right decision on the roof. Oh my god, thank god. Some, sometimes this game really tries to trick you. It's challenging, alright. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. Oh boy. This is the only way. What are we gonna do? Rally your people? Convert the more... Androids. androids. Join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. This is crazy. Prepare to march. Go to street. Oh my god. Oh boy. Block road. You're free now. Hey! Oh god. I need to block the street. All right, he's gonna block the street for us. Nice. That, that other Android's getting yelled at. I feel bad. Open manhole cover. All right. This is—it's about to go down here, boys. Holy crap! You're free. All right, we got it. Nice.
Convert more androids. All right. You're free now. Holy crap, dude. Marching for our rights. I like it. Twenty four androids in the ranks. Thirty eight androids in the ranks. Oh, no. I don't know what's going to happen here. Choose your symbol. Nice. I like that. I like that symbol. That's cool. This is insane. There's a police officer right here in front of us. How are you doing here? Hey. Disperse. Disperse immediately. That's an order. Jesus. Christ! Holy crap, there's so many of us. This batch is patrol 457. Uh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands, and. No, more slayer! They're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street. We are alive! Fuck if I know. 300 androids in the ranks. This is insane. Boy, here we go. Ah, oh, shit. What do we do now? We came here to demonstrate peacefully. And tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse oh, no. immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. Oh, shit. We're gonna attack. Don't do it, Marcus. Don't choose confrontation. 
We have no choice here. No choice. Follow me! Oh my god, we have no choice, dude. Holy crap. Woo! Let's go, boys. Yes! We ain't dying here. We ain't backing down after all we've done so far. Not now, not ever. Holy crap. Oh god. Uh disarm. Woo! Let's go, boys. Holy crap, Marcus is a freaking badass. Woo! Yes. Uh, I'm not, not, not going to kill him. But we, but we, we can keep fighting, though. Nice. Nice. Oh, shoot. We missed them. Oh, no. Come on. Nice. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. This is insane. Holy crap. Oh god. Oh. Oh no, North. Okay, she's fine. Damn, we actually shot someone, didn't even give us the option to. Oh my god. We're becoming way more ruthless now, boys. Holy crap. Yo, we don't even care anymore. Oh my god. Oh my god. We did it. We did it. And we all sur survived. Yes, we're Simon though. We're Simon. He better have survived. Yes! Let's go. That was probably not the greatest thing to do, but I mean, I wasn't just gonna back down and surrender after all we've gone through to get to this point. Damn. Holy crap. Public opinion hated. Damn, oh my god. All right, well, that was Freedom March, 47% completed. We ended up finishing with Marcus defeats the police. Look at all these other options, though. Holy crap, we probably could have died. Oh my god, backing down would probably be way back here. Holy crap, that was insane. Well, anyway, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this episode of Detroit Become Human. Hope you guys all did enjoy. If you guys did, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll catch you guys all when the adventure continues in Detroit Become Human. Peace out. Ooh, the trigger. Ain't nobody gonna do for you. Ooh, the trigger. Don't hesitate to shoot.